What do zircon crystals have to do with the age of the Earth? These are tiny little crystals found inside granite rocks. They are mildly radioactive because they contain a small amount of uranium-238. That uranium-238 decays into lead. And we know the half-life of uranium. We know that half of uranium-238 should have turned into lead in a half-life of about 1.5 billion years. Now that's a statistical measurement. It is not to do with how old I think the Earth is. However, for every one atom of uranium turning into lead, that one atom goes through a 14-stage process which involves giving off eight alpha particles which turn into helium atoms. So as every one atom of uranium turns into one atom of lead, eight atoms of helium will be made. It therefore means that we can calculate how much helium should have been produced in a zircon crystal. But helium doesn't stay in the crystal, it diffuses away from the crystal. Just like a helium balloon, a children's balloon that's gone to the ceiling of a building, doesn't stay on the ceiling, eventually it will fall down as the helium has diffused through the material of the balloon. Some helium is still left, we can measure how much helium is left, and from calculating how much helium there should have been, we know how much helium has diffused. We can then calculate two rates of diffusion for that crystal. Why two? Because there is dispute over the age of the crystal. Some say that the crystal is 1.5 billion years old by the radiometric dating, and creationists would say that the crystal is 6,000 years old, not billions of years old, 6,000 years old because it would have been created during the creation week. So for several crystals, we calculate two different rates of diffusion and plot them on a graph. What they then do is take zircon crystals and force them to diffuse more helium gas by heating them to higher temperatures. These results can also be plotted on the same graph. And the question is, would those results fit with the creationist rates of diffusion or the evolutionary radiometric rates of diffusion. And what's actually found is that the results fit very, very well indeed with the creationist rates of diffusion, which gives very strong evidence that the Earth is 6,000 years old, not billions of years old. Of course, we get the age of the Earth being 6,000 years old from Scripture, which is God's inspired, infallible, and authoritative word.